Penman. What is Penman? Penman is a safety acronym used in emergency medical services (EMS) during an initial scene size up by pre-hospital professionals known as rescuers. Perform Penman. Personal protective equipment. Environmental, biological, and human hazards. Number of patients. Mechanism of injury and nature of illness. Additional resources. Need for C-spine immobilization and neuro exam. Penman is commonly stated upon arrival at the scene of an EMS incident and or patient contact and serves as a verbal safety checklist. Face protection, mouth protection, eye protection, hand protection. Safety glasses or goggles that form a seal around the orbits of your eyes offer the highest protection. Invest in your personal prescription eye protection. Body protection, ear protection, skin protection, foot protection. Safety shoes, steel or composite toe and shank with skid resistant soles. Maintain good hand hygiene when donning and doffing your personal protective equipment. Penman guides you to pre-plan equipment and to determine rescuer roles and responsibilities. Rescuers must be prepared to observe, listen, communicate, and execute safety protocols. Environmental hazards that can hurt the rescuers should be anticipated and actively assessed upon arrival at the scene and throughout the rescue. For example, hazardous materials or hazmat are substances that are toxic, poisonous, radioactive, flammable, or explosive and can cause bodily injury or death with exposure. Biological hazards or biohazards are human bodily fluids and or substances that pose a threat or risk to the health and safety of EMS rescuers. Universal precautions is an approach to infection control transmission to treat all human blood and fluids as if the person were known to be infectious with an airborne or bloodborne pathogen, disease, and or virus. A human hazard can be a person or several people that executes the energy to directly or indirectly harm or cause death to one or more people. Common examples used are active shooters and terrorists when speaking of large-scale crimes. However, studies show that domestic violence calls for service poses a major life threat to public safety personnel. Wait, Penman does not stop there. Number of patients. Determine the number of patients on scene. Is it one or more patients? Does the patient require special extrication or special resources? Is anyone deceased? Penman continues throughout the journey from the beginning to the end. Mechanism of injury. Energy that causes physical trauma such as falling or motor vehicle collisions. Nature of illness. Internal medical condition described by the patient such as chest pain, headache, fever, and difficulty breathing. Penman starts from the moment rescuers prepare for their shift and respond to calls for service. Additional resources, power control, tow services, air support, access and escort, hazmat. 
fire crews, law enforcement, medical resources. Penman is ever-changing because every scene may present itself with a medley of health and safety hazards. Need for C-spine immobilization, mechanism of injury, head trauma. Depending on the mechanism of injury and the rescuer's neurological findings, there may be a need for C-spine precautions. Car accidents, falls, and penetrating trauma are good examples for the implementation of inline stabilization protocols and accompanied by patient's general impression and primary assessment. Penman ends when the patient transfer of care is completed, the equipment is disinfected and restocked, the rescuers follow wellness protocols, and the end of watch. That's what Penman means. <laughs>